and welcome back to VLB Halloween. We're getting pretty dark and gothic with this Black Swan inspired look. I added my spin on the original Black Swan ballerina makeup and if you like it, be sure to subscribe for more and share with friends to show love. Now, let's do this. All right, so jumping right in, prime your skin to create a nice barrier between your bare skin and the makeup we're gonna be using today. Block out those brows because we don't need them for our dramatic eyes we are about to create. First, we're gonna be going in and covering up the brows using the Delium Tools SFX kit. I'm using the finger brush and applying a cream paint over the brows to really lock them away. And next, we're gonna apply our foundation. I'm just using a color that matches my skin tone and then going onto the forehead with a cream paint and we're gonna create a gradient effect using the cream paint. We're gonna start out with a really, really, really white base at the forehead and it's gonna fade into our skin color as we blend downwards. And this is really similar to the theatrical look she had going on in the movie. So just blend that all the way down and lock it in using some white face powder. I'm using the MAC Cosmetics Shivering White Powder here to seal everything in. Next I'm going to be using the Bent Liner Brush from Delium Tools and we're going to start creating these feathers. So first I went in with a water activated black body paint and I created a very thick feather kind of branching out over my brow and from there I just started to create the other feathers. In the movie her feathers were going very horizontal and more towards her ears. I wanted to create something really fierce that really went upwards into the forehead area that lifted the face and gave just a super fierce look. So I created these feathers by just winging them out whichever way I wanted to. It was really fun to kind of do all these different patterns and you can customize it however you'd like, but I really wanted them to wing up into the forehead. And then I went in with somewhat of a smaller, thinner brush to create smaller feathers in between each. Majority of the eye look is black, but just leave a few spaces for that white body paint later. As you can see, you can kind of see where the blank spaces are, and I really did avoid the lid space because I'm really prone to creasing in those areas. Here I'm going in with the water activated black body paint and filling in that waterline and creating a really sharp kind of bird-like inner corner. So each of these eyes are definitely going to be different when creating these feathers, but don't be afraid of that at all because in the movie that's exactly what they were going for. You want this look to look as though you're a ballerina that did her makeup herself for a show. So be really creative with it and just kind of have fun and that's how you get a really awesome avant-garde look. So I'm going in with a white water activated body paint next and filling in those really blank spaces. This is actually going to kind of break up all that black paint and give it some dimension. And make sure you're blending as you go. Just blend that cream paint into your face so it doesn't get smudgy or anything like that. And now I'm applying some feather lashes and mascara. You guys know I love my feather lashes. Moving on, we're going to be locking in all of that black body paint using a black eyeshadow to really seal it in. So I wanted this ballerina's face to be super, super contoured and snatched, lifted, everything like that. So I went in with a brick colored eyeshadow first and applied that to the tops of the cheekbones going down onto my chin area to give a really really thin bone structure. I then grabbed that same color and really packed it onto the tops of the cheekbones to lift the face even further, blending with my foundation brush. And to sharpen it up even more, I grabbed a tiny bit of black eyeshadow and really hollowed out those cheeks into the hairline. Get that nice and fleeky. Yes. So going in with the red eyeshadow we used to hollow out the face, we're going to use this to add some dimension to the look. I didn't notice red was used a lot in the original look, so I wanted to add it some more to mine. And now going in with a black liquid lipstick, I'm going to be filling in my lips with this and creating an ombre lip today using a red liquid lipstick in the center. I just filled in the center of the top and bottom lip and then added in some sparkly red glitter to the center of each lip, which added so much shine. And you really want to concentrate this on the center to really highlight those lips. Alright, so going in with a red water activated body paint and the smallest brush that you can find, I'm going to use this to create little hair like strokes, which gives some red feathers to this look. I'm going in with the black shadow to really deepen up those lips and make them look even more ombre, so apply this to each corner of your lips and it really brings that red forward. I'm just going to blend over my foundation once again, perfecting it, and then lock it in with some white face powder. 
What you're gonna want to do next is paint your whole body pretty much any skin that's gonna be showing in your costume with the white cream paint and then move on to your arms. So in the movie, she did have some paint on her hands and it looked as though she did this herself and I think that was the whole point of this look. But I wanted to create some feather gloves on my hands, very similar to what she had, but I extended them up the arm even further so they were really dramatic. I went in with the water activated black body paint lined each finger and went up my arm to create really thin hair like strokes at the tips that looked like feathers. I added in some silver and also some red to really give this a nice touch that complemented the whole entire eye look. Looked really, really similar to what I had on my eyes. Yes. All right, so time for that ballerina bun. Slick that hair back and go ahead and use that white face powder to make your face match your ears. You definitely want everything to be matching. So my crown is actually made out of hot glue. I love it. And I use some black angel wings and just kind of flip them upside down so they look similar to what she had on in the movie. Oh yeah, and that person standing behind me, that's my mom. She's helping me put my wings on. You get a little tough sometimes. Add in your red contacts and your look is complete. I hope you all love this black swan Halloween makeup tutorial. And if you do love it, be sure you like this video, subscribe for more, and share with all your friends. Thank you all so much for tuning in to VLB Halloween, and I will see you in my next Halloween tutorial.